All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, so uh, we left off uh, here, and there was a uh, an explosion uh, that occurred. So we're gonna we're gonna move to our next turn and see what uh, exactly is happening. Many players on the Basenji national football team took to the field at a World Cup qualifying match, wearing jerseys modified to say free Basenji's political prisoners. They were reported to be arguing for the release of thousands of monarchists imprisoned after the revolution. This act of protest is becoming a popular topic of discussion across the country. Uh, we could completely ignore the uh, protests. I think that's the best thing for us, because we, if we offer amnesty, we lose loyalty points. And we lose the old loyalty points if we uh, protest athletes being removed from the team. Our Excellency, we have some information on the explosion at the Federal Building. Go ahead. Five civil servants were killed, and twelve bystanders were injured. We have confirmed that it was a bomb. A group calling itself the Besenji Liberation Front has claimed responsibility. They have a list of demands, including your removal from power and the holding of immediate free democratic elections. They threaten that if you do not comply, more attacks will occur against the Besenji government. We need to find and eliminate this threat. We know very little about them. We must increase our intelligence capacity in order to root them out. Do whatever you must to ensure the safety of our people. Okay. So we got this tab up here, Terrorist Crisis. So we can obtain sufficient intelligence on the country that's hiding BLF or spend 30 million per turn on intelligence for six turns. We're gonna have to do the 30 million uh, per turn. Let's see, so we'll lose 13 million per turn, but we have so much money banked it won't matter. Uh, we can run a deficit for six turns, that's fine. So let's see how this uh, this turns out for us. The, and the football team, the local team, is just you know looking for attention. Yeah, I'm not gonna take their bait over here. How are things going on in uh, loyalty? Uh, the loyalty piggy bank. So, 16 plus... Okay, so two turns, I think. Oh no, one of our child recreational facilities is leaching toxic chemicals into a river system used by farmers. Uh, so we can shut down the, the recreational facilities, or we could... Uh, we could ignore the farmers. Uh, we're gonna, I think, we're gonna take it down, I think. Yeah, we, we can't afford to keep getting uh, liberal hits. Excellency, we have information on the best NG liberation front. Go ahead. Okay. Our CTU has captured a suspected member of this terrorist group. Regrettably, the suspect did not survive our interrogation process. Before the suspect expired, we learned that this radical organization is set to force democracy on our people at any cost. They are operating out of a neighboring state. We do not know which one. When we do find out, we will probably have to attack their borders. Oh boy. Alternatively, get the offending state to turn the terrorists over to us. The 
longer we take to find out where they are operating from, the more likely it is that another attack will occur. Okay. Until they are found, we should invest in counter-terrorism capacity and devote resources to intelligence collection. Thank you, General Adad. Well, we're already doing that. We're spending 30 million a turn on uh, counterterrorism. Uh, hopefully, we can get what we need. I don't think we can go to the US for help, so. Uh, we just have to wait it out until we can get the right intelligence. Uh, Karifi unemployment has climbed to as high as 15%, Lee, and is dragging down the rest of your nation's economy. The people are looking to the government to provide a plan to address the crisis. We could, uh, we could do this, we could order our trade commission to prioritize the promotion of Karifi exports over all others. And uh, that would definitely help us out here. That'd be better than the other options. Yeah, because the other options uh, would hit us negatively, so... Trade deal to Kalshara expired. Alright, so let's uh, let's call them up again. Thank you for taking. But oh man, pl plastics are so down. In the market. Are you interested in taking into a? Right. You know, I'm gonna have to take it. It's okay. Apologies. Goodbye. Well, we'll deal with whatever uh, financial issue uh, emerges from this, but uh, right now our priority is in other things. It's uh, dealing with counterterrorism. We're gonna bank another newspaper. Get a new editorial published. Thankfully, our approval ratings are uh, climbing back up slowly but surely. Uh, Tajikistan is is secure. We're gonna we're gonna try to push for uh, editorials in Kalshara next, and we want to keep relations high with all three countries because uh, we're gonna have to ask them to deal with our counterterrorism issue at some point. So I think it would, it's five turns with uh, seven per turn. It would give us enough loyalty points. Uh, no, we only need four turns. Okay. So we'll probably save that one. Uh, We'll probably save those loyalty points to deal with the terrorism crisis. Uh, a boat filled with refugees from Kaushara have requested political asylum in Basenji. These refugees represent an unpopular minority population that is opposed to the old ways, and has attempted to overthrow their government with violence. If returned, they will likely be imprisoned or killed. Um, yeah. We're gonna arrest them and return them to their home country. Oh, 26. A uh, new intelligence report about General Kelis. All right, let's go look for who this guy is. Is it this? Is it this guy? Tolerant of free speech. Uh, okay. 
Hey, maybe we could build relations with him by talking about free speech. Thank you for taking my call. We must work together to counter extremism both within and outside our borders. We too are concerned with the rise of extremist groups, but we should address the underlying social issues responsible for their formation. Sure. Uh, I don't know about the UN stuff. Uh, we're, we're gonna cut it off there because that sounded like it went okay. Uh, but what we really want is that, uh, that terrorism crisis. Two, three, four... I think we have two more turns before, uh, before it gets resolved. Excellency, the Senji officials have discovered the wreck of an ancient wooden exploration vessel off the coast of the Senji. The wreck, the wreck appears to be at least 600 years old. Yeah? And maybe an ancient Chinese uh, treasure ship. This is a glorious find for the scientific community and the historical community. So, uh, in this case, we're gonna invite the scientists around the world to come and share in our discovery. Uh, we don't need the money. And positive relations would benefit us, so let's go ahead and do that. We're really losing a lot of money here. <laughs> I'd really like to uh, get this terrorism thing under control. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going. Uh, oh, An oil tanker has experienced a temporary but catastrophic failure, spilling at least 500 tons of crude oil into the sea which threatens to contaminate several pristine beaches. The impact to the environment and to tourism is anticipated to be severe. Cleaning up the spill should be a high priority to mitigate the economic effect. We can't ask for foreign aid, because that's a nightmare. We have to do our best here. Two turns, that's all we need is two turns, I think. Then we after that we can fix our economy, so uh seven Okay, yeah, we'll have enough. So we'll we'll wait out this one turn and then after that we we'll uh we'll fix our uh, economy or deficit over here. So let's wait out our, uh, our one turn. <clears throat> oh no, the Basenji Liberation Front has released another video to the media. They've kidnapped a prominent fundamentalist cleric and are demanding 10 million for his life. Giving in to their demands will strengthen the terrorist organization and open Basenji to further demands. Refusing to negotiate will affect your relationship with the fundamentalists. Uh, well, we're gonna have to ignore their demand. They executed the cleric. A new intelligence pres uh, new intelligence report about President Era Navos is available. And our citizens are growing more patriotic. 
Uh, who's there in Abos? This guy here. Yeah, thanks for that, Intelligence Office. It's so nice to see that I'm funneling so so much money into your uh, your inquiries just to figure out that uh, a man is allergic to peanuts. Has it not been six consecutive turns yet? Maybe there's no guarantee to, uh, to getting the intelligence that we need? We don't have much time left. I am spending the money that they're asking for. We want to make sure that we don't go bankrupt. What else here? Okay, we have exactly enough banked for whoever we need to uh, get into good relations with. A young, famous Basenji musician has released a music video that contains lyrics that are deeply offensive to our fundamentalist population, parodying revered prophets. We'll do nothing. Excellency, I have just received word from the Ministry of Intelligence. They appear to have identified where the Basenji Liberation Front are located. They Great. wanted you to see this for yourself. When you are ready, our troops are prepared to attack their camp. Or, alternatively, you may wish to approach this diplomatically. Okay. So, the Senji citizens are becoming more liberal. That's not good for our, uh, our approval rating here. But more importantly, we're going to deal with this uh, terrorist crisis. Uh, first, let's find out who's harboring the uh, terrorists. How do we find that out? <laughs> uh, do, do I talk to Nader here? Oh, it's Trajikistan. Of course it is. Okay, so let's check our relations. They're actually really good right now. But I want to make absolutely sure that they, uh, they're they amiable to our, uh, our wishes, so let's do this. Let's go call up Trajikistan here. Thank you for taking my call. Let's discuss, uh. Oh, sorry, discuss issues. We demand that you hand the Basenji Liberation Front Cell operating in your country over to us. This revelation is truly an embarrassment for us. I value our relationship with Basanji greatly. Our soldiers will cooperate with your own to find and eliminate this threat to regional stability. Alright. That's all we Apologies, needed. But I must go. Goodbye. Alright, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. It's a relatively simple issue to resolve. Uh, this is not, though. Our, our deficit is really bad. I don't know what we're gonna do. 
Oh, I know. I know. We, the first thing we can do is uh, cut our intelligence spending. Our absurd intelligence spending. There you go. And then we can also uh, reduce taxes again to increase our approval. Keep it at 16%, but uh, well, that's fine. Oh my god. Uh, the Senji's Prav athletes, athletes are seeking greater funding for international sporting events. Uh, we have no funds for you. Stop asking us for money. We have received word that they are sending their own soldiers in to raid a small compound located near our shared border. All the remaining members of the Besenji Liberation Front are reported to have been killed. The threat to Besenji posted by the terrorists is over. Now, we may finally begin to mourn our lost. All right, this will look great in the polls. Let's check the uh, newspaper. Do they mention it? Wow, this newspaper is so useless. It's like the CNN of newspapers. Well, uh, liberal approval. Uh, sorry, liberal... Uh, Liberals are winning the culture war here, but uh, fundamentalists are really struggling for power. Uh, all right, so that con that problem is resolved. Uh, we're going to have to prepare for um, our brother's coup d'état. It's coming in about 14 turns. I thought we got rid of these guys. The Basenji Liberation Front has released another video to the media. They describe themselves as pro-democracy, as a pro-democracy group whose attacks against our federal buildings will inspire the people of Basenji to overthrow us. The Basenji Intelligence Authority has learned all it can from the video. The media wishes to broadcast it should we allow them. No. Why would we allow them to broadcast propaganda? That sounds... that's such a moronic idea. I weep for our treasury. We lost so much money in deficits, but we had to do it it's for the good of our country. Your soldiers are complaining about the lack of benefits they receive upon completion of their service to the Senji. Uh, veterans note that disability benefits are insufficient and that addiction and homelessness amongst veterans is on the rise. So, uh, of course we support our veterans, we'll, we'll find a way to make up the deficit. The Honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering into a new era in the history of our homeland. I wished to address you first. Uh, you guys have already seen this so many times. Uh, let's think of uh, something fun we could do. Oh, this one sounds ironic. The American warmongers realize they cannot invade every country in the world, and are thinking twice about crossing the great nation of Basenji. The new branch of the police of Basenji will be tasked with enforcing religious compliance to the doctrines of the old ways. Okay.
Second, we will promote developing and prototyping new technologies, especially those in support of asserting our sovereignty. Mm, can we make it? Finally, it is with a full heart that I say to you all. Our people will put their steadfastness into the works of peace and human culture. This is our desire. We hope for it, and we believe in it. Wow, we, we've made so many contradictory statements in this one speech. I'm not surprised that we didn't, uh, we didn't impress anybody. Sports. Uh. Our trade uh, agreements uh, dead, so let's let's renew Thank you it. For taking my call. Ah, good oil is really high. Are you interested in negotiating? Taking into account. There we go. Twenty-seven million dollars. That'll, that'll deal with our deficit. Apology. All right. So the liberals are the only ones that still dislike us. Uh, we have really good relations with our neighbors. Uh, we can influence them still. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, exploiting uh, inspired volunteers to make some extra money and maybe we can buy some drones this way. Uh, what else? I think that's it for this turn. Fundamentalist clerics are calling upon the government to ban immodest western haircuts. If you agree, ponytails, spikes, and mohawks, and brightly colored dyes would be prohibited. Wow, that is so dumb. Um, I'm playing as Hillary. Hillary is not this conservative, I think. No. Pander to progressives over trivial things like haircuts. And anyone who disapproves of my policies is a sexist, so I win anyways. After seeing the uh, new blue chihuahuas, uh, fighter jets performed during a recent air show in the United States. The Senji's top military brass just cannot seem to stop talking about how amazing these aircraft are. According to them, the Senji absolutely needs to get a squadron of these planes as top priority. <sighs> we gotta, we gotta do it for the military. We gotta buy them fancy estates instead. on eggshells with uh, this stuff. I'm gonna do the big, uh, the big tax increase just once, and uh, we'll use that money to pay our deficit off. Afterwards, we'll we'll put everything back down to 14%. Uh, Should be okay for one turn. A uh, prominent cleric is calling for a ban on foreign films that portray immoral actions including excessive violence, adultery, narcotic abuse, and cruelty to animals. And yet, fundamentalists are throwing grenades at people from ATVs. Anyways, the particularly inexplicable focus on abuse to waterfowl. 
This could be an opportunity to score points with the fundamentalists. Oh, uh, it really doesn't, like, capitalists really hate the idea. I don't know. Uh, uh, we got the highest approval with them. Whatever. What's going on here? We got a favor from uh, somebody here. Is it this check? Okay. Yeah, we got uh, capitalist approval. I probably should have saved that for uh, another time. Uh, this check here, she's our, uh, our foreign minister. I wonder if we can... Uh, th this is related to foreign minister, right? Yeah, so let's uh, start exporting uh, small arms and light weapons to uh, Tajikistan. And let's start constructing an oil pipeline. It'll take six turns, so it'll be finished really close to the end of the game, but... Uh, eh, whatever. Trade uh, arms to uh, Kalshara and to Sanya as well. Two million dollars per turn? Yeah, that sounds good. See, we're, we're even giving to countries with terrible human rights records like. Um, I think it's Kal Shara that's building the weapons of mass destruction. So this is like an authentic level of horrendous pandering. Throwing our morals away for some, uh, some extra money. Alright, so, let's see what we can do. What's our loyalty look like again? 48 points. If we get to 80, we'll, uh, we'll make some extra money. Until then. Oh! Oh, jeez. It's, uh, it's 30 minutes in. I didn't realize how long uh, I've been playing for. Alright, so uh, until next time, or sorry, uh, when we come back, uh, we only got nine turns left, so we're gonna we're gonna prepare for uh, our brother's uh, upcoming coup d'état and any any other events that might occur during that time. Um, so uh, so until then, uh, see you guys later and uh, take care.